The lady from Uncle. The lady. Hi, today I want to take a look at this particular pop-up that pops up once in a while when you sign into a Google account. Now, I would recommend that you take a good look at it and do not skip this particular step. It is for your benefit, nobody else's. So uh, what I've done is I've literally just signed into one of my throwaway Google accounts and I haven't done so for a while. And this pops up and I'm being told to add or confirm my recovery email or phone number. I wish it said and phone number. Add a home address and sign up to get useful tips and updates. Now, I already have signed up for tips and I don't need to get them more than once. I'm not going to add a home address, but that is a, a, a considered decision on my part. This particular Google account is not important to me, so therefore adding a home address is not relevant. Now, if it were a personal Google account that I'm particularly keen on, maybe it did use a Gmail as an, its email address, and therefore I had, let's say, bank details or... or um, medical records or whatever, then adding a home address could definitely help Google in locating me, the original owner or the, the, the genuine owner, in the event that something goes wrong. So do consider this uh, seriously. This one here, I don't think should be optional. I think it should be a mandatory requirement that every Google account is secured and verifiable with a recovery email address and phone number. Because think about it, you could lose your phone. If you lose your phone or your phone is stolen or it's broken and you get a new phone and you get a new SIM card, you might change your phone number. So you might not remember that your Google account is actually relying on your phone number being accessible to you. Same goes for your recovery email. and online email services such as Yahoo and Hotmail and Gmail even. Um, unfortunately, hackers will try and get access to them for whatever nefarious purpose that they have. So there is no saying that you will continuously have access. You might give up your Yahoo email address. It might time out your Hotmail one. Um, whatever the reason, I would recommend that when you see this prompt, at the very least, you go through the steps and add recovery and verification options for yourself. And don't stop with just the email and phone number. Add as much as you can, because at the end of the day, anything that you do now will prevent this becoming a heartache for you later on. Thank you for listening and goodbye.